local business owner of LNF Distributors, Greg Lamantia. It's a really tough challenge for law enforcement down there too, who sometimes do this uh, under criticism from progressives and Democrats, including people in the Biden administration. They're going to be uh, how, how are they going to handle this additional surge that we're going to see? We're going to see start starting as as soon as Wednesday. It's going to be very difficult. And, and to Javier's point, I mean, what you have is a need in agriculture, whether it is fruits and vegetables, berries, blueberries, strawberries, oranges, catfish packing plant, chicken plant, whatever it is, you have a need for these people to come and they have a job ready for them. Yet all these people that are coming can't get a job legally. And so that's a burden on wherever they end up. So maybe Congress should come up with a way to give them a MECA or a permit to allow them to work, to pay taxes, to pay FICA. And then when you talk about being able to find these people later, about for their quarter parents, you should be able to find them because they're checked up and there's an employer and they're paying they're paying tax, et cetera. Because what you don't want to do is have them continue to work underground illegally or turn to crime because they've got to eat. So we've yeah. got to do something. And I agree, Congress has got to step up and the president and everybody has to step up and get a solution and quit throwing rocks at each other and get this damn thing done. But as Javier said, uh there's one thing more broken than the uh, than the border. It's uh, it's Congress. Gen <laughs> gen gentlemen, thank thank you very much indeed, both for for joining us.